All right, so this is going to be the first uh, video on um, medicinal mushrooms that I've, I've done. And uh, this will be on Rishi because Rishi is uh, it's kind of a classic. It's really well known. It's probably the oldest, uh, the longest used medicinal mushroom. Uh, so, uh, getting right into it. Um, chemically, what it has in it, it's got... Um, beta-glucans, which are a form of carbohydrate, and uh, those are basically uh, responsible mostly for its uh, amino-modulating properties that we'll get into in a sec. Um, it's got triterpenoids, which should not be that surprising. Those are in, um, I mean, they're all over the place in biology. Um, a lot of plants have them. The ginsenicides are actually uh, triterpenoids that I talked about in the Jagolan video. They're in ginseng. Uh, you know, so those are triterpenoids, and uh, steroids are actually triterpenoids, which brings us to another thing that's in reishi. It's got uh, sterols, which are a form of steroid, and uh, so yeah, those are triterpenoids too. They kind of, um, they're kind of important enough that they can be you know, treated in their own right. So, uh, you know, that's, that's, those are some of the things. The beta-glucans got triterpenoids and it's got sterols in it. Uh, and then, you know, probably some other stuff too, but those are the most important things. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, one of the key thing, one of the main, uh, I guess, kind of properties to look at with reishi is the amino-modulating properties. Those are, uh, they seem to be the most important aspect of it. And, uh... Those are uh, tied in closely with uh, the the wide uh, well the application of reishi to cancer in various ways. So um, <clears throat> this has been researched quite a bit. Um, it had been looked at, at, you know, as you know, a standalone cancer treatment, and it doesn't seem to be very effective. Sorry to burst that bubble. Uh, but uh, it is still being looked at as a uh, sort of supporting therapy. So uh, because of these immunomodulating properties, uh, you know, like a lot of chemotherapy will suppress the immune system, so it might help, you know, deal with that. Uh, and it, does, it might work uh, somewhat synergistically with uh, these therapies. Like, it, it's not really good therapy in its own right, but... Uh, it might help these therapies, you know, these other therapies, uh, radiation or chemo, work better than they would on their own. So, um, you know, it's not all dire. There's, you know, there is maybe some use of this in cancer. Uh, of course, you know, you research this, uh, pretty much all the source says more research is needed, so, uh, you know. I don't know. I, I'm not going to tell people, you know, what to do in that situation. Uh, definitely, I'm telling you it's not good for, like, a first-line treatment. It's, it would only be good as a, uh, you know, a supporting sort of set of therapy, if anything. But, um, yeah. Uh, so that, 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 the cancer uh, is one aspect of that. Uh, it, it, it works on the immune system in a variety of ways. Uh, but uh, primarily, like, it, 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 it upregulates the production of uh, immune cells, but it also kind of, like, activates them, uh, brings them online. Uh, so, you know, on different levels, it just sort of revs up the immune system. Uh, any sort of, you know, condition that kind of suppresses the immune system, uh, you might want to look into it for that. Uh, of course, you know, I, I don't want to, like, act like I'm prescribing anything, I mean, it's not like, you know, playing doctor, I'm just telling you, you know, as a supplement, what it's like people look at it for, I'm not like, saying that you should try to self-medicate anything if you have a legit condition, uh, but, uh, you know, you know, it, it does seem to have immunomodulating properties, uh, it's, uh, there was at least one double-blind study where it, it helped with benign prostatic hyperplasia, which, uh, you know, it's not cancer, but it uh, seems to be a nuisance. Uh, that, that would be a nuisance, so... Um, 
yeah, you know, you know, maybe it might work for that. And uh, it's also, uh, oh yeah, there's some talk uh, about its use as a nootropic, uh, but I don't know, uh, I don't think there's been a lot of research specifically for this, but uh, there's some triterpenoids, some of the more recently discovered ones that are in it, uh, seem like they might have uh, some nerve growth factor in there, you know. They might be nerve growth factors or something. So, uh, I don't know. A lot of people swear by Rishi that it really helps, uh, you know, either cognitively or that it increases, like, presence or, um, you know, things like that. Um, and I haven't yet, I haven't right yet tried Rishi. I'll, you know, have to do an experience video on that. But, uh, you know, Pete, it's just something I'm saying. It's like, it's not something that's been really researched heavily yet. It's just a lot of, you know, people saying that it's, you know, they're pretty much, like I said, yeah, they're swearing by it. Uh, so, you might want to look into it for that. Uh, but, uh, there are some things that, uh, you need to look out for with Rishi. Uh, some people do say that it's anti-androgenic. Uh, so, I mean, I said there were steroids in it. Probably not... You know, there's a lot of different kinds of steroids. They might not be the steroids that you're, you have in mind. Uh, for a, for a lot of guys, it might actually have the opposite effect that you're looking for. Uh, it might affect your libido and things. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, you also uh, you do also need to keep in mind with some of these medicinal mushrooms that they some of them do have uh, immunosuppressant. Uh, chemicals in there too, so, uh, you know, in the long, you know, I don't know how all these different chemicals come together, but, um, uh, you talk about reishi being, um, an amino modulator, uh, so it, you know, typically you're looking to upregulate the immune system, sometimes, you know, maybe these immuno suppressors can kind of like, I don't know, keep that in line? I don't know. Maybe it's kind of like an adaptogen where it, like, uh, uh, you know, will bring it up if it needs up and bring it down if it needs down. But in any case, uh, you do have to watch, you know, sometimes, you know, it could have the opposite effect that you're looking for, which is not entirely, um, you know, it's not a foreign concept. I mean, this, this happens with, like, you know, pharmaceutical drugs, too. There's, you know, sometimes you'll get the exact opposite effect that the drug... Uh, is intended for. Even when it, you know, it, it consists, it's the same chemical, it works consistently for a lot of people. One way, there's some people it'll have, like, the complete opposite effects. So, I think in particular with Rishi, you need to look out for that, just, you know, because of what's in there and because of what I've heard. And, uh, that's the, I think, pretty much the medicinal aspect of it. Uh, there is, uh, you do need to keep in mind that when you're looking for a product, product's always important when you're, um, you know, I'm not about to like, you know, advertise anything, but, uh, just in general, uh, you know, products are important for, for supplements. You do want a high quality, but it's particularly important for mushrooms because there's a lot of crap out there. And, um, you, it's really important that you look for uh, an extract that, or whatever that is made out of the fruiting body of the mushroom. There's a, a lot of stuff out there, a lot of the mushroom supplements, pretty much the market's flooded with like low quality mushroom supplements that are made from the mycelium of the mushroom. And uh, most of the, the active compounds that you really want those are going to be in the fruiting body, and that's what you want to look for. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I, I don't really want to get into sourcing on here. I'm not really trying to advertise uh, specifically, you know, specific supplements. So I won't really get into that, you know, where you can buy. But you can search around. I mean, it, forums are a very good place for that sort of thing. So um, just keep that in mind, fruiting body. Um, and, all, and the extraction method is important too, depending on what you want. A lot of these are done with um, some kind of water extraction, but uh, not all the compounds. Uh, I know in particular the triterpenoids are not all really all that water soluble, so 
Uh, you might want an alcohol extract too. Uh, that that one's uh, you know it really adds to the complication of studying these sorts of uh, you know this applies to herbs too. You know when you uh, you know there's all these other factors. Um, it complicates studies when you're looking at how you know effective these things are. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the, there's the extraction process, there's, you know, the specific, you know, strain. I mean, it, it's going to vary even within the same species, so uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, you just got to find a, a, a good product, do your research, and, you know, once you once you find a good product, uh, just stick with it. So I'll leave that up to you. I will not try to tell you what to buy. And uh, I think that's pretty much the basics. But, uh... The, uh, yeah, the, the, the stuff that I just said about the sourcing, about the, the extracts, about uh, the fruiting body, that applies to mushrooms in general. That's not just reishi mushrooms. Um, and uh, I don't know. The reason that I haven't personally tried reishi yet is because I, you know, I don't really have issues with any of the things that has been talked about. I might try it as a nootropic. Uh... But, I, I don't know, I'd still have to look into that more, I don't really know. A lot of it sounds anecdotal at this point, I don't, I would like to see more research before I mess, you know. If nothing else, just I don't want to waste my money. Because a lot of uh, supplementation, and in this hobby there's a lot of hit and miss anyway. Uh, you know, out of like, I think, you know, most of the things that I buy, I don't use them on a regular basis. Uh, supplement wise, you know, so. Uh, trying to maximize, uh, you know, how I spend my money. But anyway, yeah, that pretty much the gist of reishi mushroom. Uh, and uh, I'm going to probably do a lot more medicinal mushroom videos because uh, I've been reading up a lot on these lately. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, next time, until next time, be safe and have fun and all that jazz. So, see you later.